Day, and Poppy and her friends were making snow angels in the meadow. <laughs> <laughs> How was that, Poppy? Perfect, Mo. <laughs> hey there, Egbert. We're making snow angels. Would you like to join us? No, thank you, Poppy Cat. I'm going to bury this stick in the snow so no one will ever find it. Until the snow melts. You tried to trick me, but I won't fall for it. Goodbye. Hi, everyone. Come and see what I have. Hello, Zuzu. What's under that sheet? It's a gift for Owl. I made it myself. Really? A gift for me? That's very kind, Zuzu. Wait till you see it. Ta-da! Isn't it great? Yes, um, oh, it certainly is unusual. I call it a welcome walrus, because it waves hello. I can see that. I thought you could put it outside your tree for decoration. Oh, how thoughtful. Having a friendly welcome walrus outside your door tells everyone what a friendly person you are, Owl. And just think, you'll probably be the only owl in the whole world who has a welcome walrus. Well, that's certainly true. Well, thank you, Zuzu. You shouldn't have, really. Let's figure out where to put him. Oh, uh, what about here? Right below your nest. Hmm. How about over there, on top of that hill? So everyone can see it from far away, very far away. But then no one will know that the welcome walrus belongs to you, Owl. And if you put it right here, you'll get to see it every day and every night. What a happy thought. I wonder if it should go on top of your house. Oh no, my welcome walrus is gone. But how could it just disappear? Someone must have taken it when we weren't looking. Oh, well, these things happen. Don't worry, Owl. We'll find your walrus, even if we have to search forever. That's right, forever. No, no, really. Honestly, that would be such a lot of work. And besides, we don't have a clue about where he could be. Look, I found a clue. I know that handkerchief. It belongs to Mother Bumblebird. Wait. If she dropped that handkerchief, then she must have seen who took the welcome walrus. You're right, Zuzu. I think we need to go to the mountains and find Mother Bumblebird so we can get it back. If you all insist. We're off to the snowy mountains. But first, we're going to need... A hot air balloon! <laughs> Keep a lookout, everybody. Ooh, it's getting colder, so we must be getting closer to the home of Mother Bumblebird. We might even see her flying around up here. Why don't we split up? Everyone look on different sides of the balloon. I'll take this side. Poppy, um, I have a confession to make. Uh, well, I'd be perfectly happy if we don't find Zozo's gift. Really? But why, Owl? The truth is, I don't really like waving wooden walruses. Of course, I would never want to hurt Zuzu's feelings. I, I just don't know what to do. Ha ha ha! legs! Edward, is that you? Certainly not. I'm Yingling, the disco viking. What are you doing? 
What am I doing? I'm taking over this balloon, of course. That's what disco Vikings do. And then we do a steppy dance move like this. But Egbert, uh, Yangling the disco Viking, we're on our way to try to find Owl's Welcome Walrus, which went missing. Why didn't you say so? Vikings are really good at finding walruses. Here's where Yegling the Disco Viking takes control. Stand back, everybody, and watch in amazement. Oh, please be careful. Careful? Yegling doesn't know the meaning of the word. Oh. oh, now look what you've done, Egbert. I didn't do anything. It was like that. Lucky for you, Yegling the Disco Viking must go and take over a better balloon. One that doesn't fall apart so easily. Farewell, war seekers. <laughs> Work, Puppy. Thank you, Owl. I seem to remember Mother Bumblebird's nest being around here. Who wants another yummy worm? <laughs> it's Mother Bumblebird. She's feeding her babies. Open wide, my little pill, little <laughs> Mother Bumblebird. Who said that? Oh, Puppy, oh, I didn't see you there. Mm, do you know you have a walrus in your nest? So I do! I saw him back in that meadow and thought he was one of my babies. Now that I'm looking at him, he doesn't look like my boy at all! It's a welcome walrus. I made him as a gift for Owl. Um, could we please have him back now? Of course! I have enough mouths to feed as it is, huh? Thank you, Mother Bumblebird. I'm terribly sorry for causing you so much trouble. Can I offer you a worm? A tail feather? I'd give you my eyeglasses, but I'm blind as a bat without them. I'm just glad we got Welcome Walrus back. Yes, that's the main thing. We better start for home before it gets dark. But how, Poppy? The balloon's broken. We'll use my sled. Climb on, everyone. Yay! Oh, shame. I don't think the welcome walrus will fit. Of course he will. If we all squish together like this. See? Whoa. Goodbye, Mother Bumblebird. Who said that? Oh, it's you again. Goodbye. <laughs> Hi, huh? visitors. Hi. Welcome. I'm Roger. Uh, are you going to eat us? No, I'm a friendly bear. Hello, Roger. Nice to meet you. You're not running away? People usually do once they say I'm a bear. Being so scary looking makes it hard to make new friends. You're not scary looking. Not now, anyway. It's so sad. I wish there was some way to let everyone know that you're friendly, Bear. I think I might have an idea. Owl, would you be willing to give up your welcome, Walrus? <gasps> yes! I mean, oh, 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 no, 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 why do you ask? If we put the welcome walrus right here, outside of Roger's cave, when it waves, everyone could see that a friendly bear lives here. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Oh, I mean, I would be very sad to part with it, but I think it would be very helpful for our new friend, Roger. Uh, it does seem like the right thing to do. Thank you. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Really? Thanks. I made it. I can't believe you'd give up the walrus. Hmm, well, yes, you know, if I must. yo -ho! Hello down there! I fixed up your balloon! It was the least I could do for all the trouble. Thank you! Goodbye! Come again soon! Goodbye, Roger! Bye, Roger. We'll be back! Bye! Goodbye, welcome!
welcome, walrus. Actually, when you look at it from up here, I see now that a waving wooden walrus really is a wonderful thing. Goodbye. I could make you another one if you like. Thank you, Zuzu. I would like that. I would like that very much. Poppy flew everyone back home to the meadow, where Zuzu started work on a brand new welcome walrus for Owl. And they all agreed that they were very lucky to go on so many extraordinary adventures with such good friends. The end. Did you like that story? I can tell by your purring you did. Sweet dreams, Poppy Cat. to watch Zuzu and Alma on the swing. Oh, that's very good, you two. Zuzu, you're really high up. Thank you, Poppy. I could swing all day. In fact, I won a medal for swinging just last week. See? You got a medal for swinging? Yes, because I went extra high. I bet I can swing extra high, too. Careful, Alma. Oh, I can't watch. Whoa! Oh. Oh. You okay, Mo? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little yucky. What is that? It looks like part of a circus poster, but some of the letters are torn off. Oh, I recognize that poster. It's from the snowy circus of the Arctic. I haven't thought of that circus in years. Ah, the tent, the clouds. <laughs> Coming through, step aside. Hey there, Egbert. What are you doing? Oh, can't you tell, Poppy Cat? I'm leading an invisible marching band, and if I stop to talk, they'll all bump into each other and bend their invisible tubers. So goodbye. Bye-bye. Anyway, as I was saying, the Snowy Circus put on a wonderful show. I've never been to a circus before. Oh, no. That's terrible. Everyone must see a circus at least once. What do you think, Poppy? I think today's the perfect day for an adventure. To go and see the Snowy Circus. <laughs> we're off then to the Arctic. But first, we're going to need a train. <laughs> Owl, what does the snowy circus look like exactly? Well, first you'll see a big striped tent with a flag flying on top. You can't miss it. There's so much I don't know about circuses. Wait until you see the swinging trapeze. That's what they call the swings in a circus. Except they're very high up, way at the top of the tent. I bet I could swing on the trapeze. Zuzu, circus swinging is much harder than regular swinging. And let's not forget the clowns with their funny red noses, giant shoes, silly squirters. <laughs> Memories that will last a lifetime. 
Oh, wow! Sounds fantastic! Poppy, look! Someone's out there! And I think he needs our help! Everyone, hang on! We're going to stop in a hurry! <laughs> Are you all right? Do you need our help? Hey, Bert! Wrong! I am Cornelius P. Gold Digger, the greatest gold digger in the world! That's very nice, Egg uh, Cornelius P. Gold Digger, but This I piece of paper says that I own all this land so I can dig for gold. I can't have your train driving around messing up my gold digging! Oh, no, we wouldn't want that. May I see that paper, please, Cornelius? Sorry, it's full of really big words that only I could understand. Now, if you don't mind, I need to dig for gold. Hey, Bird, you're digging up our train track. Of course I am. The best gold is always hiding under train tracks. Oh. Oh. No, no gold here. You may go along. But Cornelius, the train can't run without a track. Hmm. Oh, I guess you'll just have to help me dig for gold then. Or maybe you could loan us your sled. We really need to get to the snowy circus in time for the show. <laughs> Give you my sledge filled with my sacks of gold? Oh, I don't think so, Poppy Cat. Egbert, I mean Cornelius, how about they swap you this gold medal for a ride on your sled? Zuzu, not your swinging medal. Don't try to talk him out of it. <sighs> I have found real gold at last. I thought you said you had sacks of gold. Oh, never mind that now. Climb aboard! Thank you, Cornelius. Would you like to come along and see the circus with us? I might come with you, but only because I'm the best driver. Oh, Egbert, it would be much better if we just go in a straight line. Nobody tells Cornelius P. Gold Digger how to drive us, sled. <laughs> I told you I was the best driver. Look! It's the circus tent! And there's the ticket booth! Last one, there's a rotten egg! Gilda? Oh, why, hello! Fancy meeting you all the way out here. Hope it's not too cold for you. <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Is there something hanging out of my beak? We didn't know you worked at the circus. Oh, it's my Friday job. On Wednesdays, I'm a dentist. Now, what can I do for you? We'd like tickets for the show, please. Oh, that sounds like a grand idea. What show would that be? The Snowy Circus. The Snowy what? Circus. Has it started yet? Uh, I brought them here, so I want a front row seat and two bags of peanuts. Oh, you've come to go to the circus. I'm afraid it's packed up and moved away. Oh, no. But why? No one came anymore. It must have been too cold. Soon everyone forgot about this old circus. But, Gilda, if there's no show, why are you still here selling tickets? Because it's my Friday job. There's no circus. Yes, no circus and a waste of good gold digging time. Cornelius P. Gold Digger is leaving and taking my sledge with me. Goodbye. Gilda, would it be okay if we went inside and had a look around? Don't see why not. I'll show you around. Gives me something to do. <gasps> oh, Zuzu! They are the trapeze! I know! I bet the tricks were amazing! A clown horn! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you liked clowns, Owl! Hmm. Of course, I didn't know I liked blueberries until just this morning! It must have been a wonderful circus! Excuse me! I'm here to see the circus. I came early to make sure I got a really good seat. 
I'm sorry. There is no circus here anymore. But I found this poster. And I've never been to the circus before. Me either. Hello. My name's Mo. I'm Ellie. You mean there's no show? Everyone, I have an idea. Mo, Ellie, why don't you go and sit down and make sure to choose a really good seat? Alma, Zuzu, Owl, perhaps. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, us and Mo and Ellie, presenting the all new Snowy Circus! <laughs> Amazing team of Alma and Zuzu! <laughs> You're really good, Alma! Thank you, Zuzu! And so are you! Wow! <laughs> oh, Owl! <laughs> Puppy and Owl and Alma and Zuzu had the best time putting on their own circus for Mo and Ellie. After they said goodbye to Ellie, Puppy and her friends took the train home and promised to come back and put on another show very soon. They would make sure that the snowy circus would never be forgotten again. The end! You want another story? <laughs> I think we'll have to wait until morning, Poppy Cat. Good night. Poppy Cat. <laughs> Poppy Cat.